Hello and welcome to this screencast about using Class Dojo. So we're going to select Class Dojo. You can download it from the App Store. It is completely free to use and it has some awesome features we're going to take a look at. So we'll select Class Dojo and open it up. So first we are going to need to sign in to Class Dojo. So we'll go down here and create a new account. We'll select Teacher and then Get Started. I'm just going to enter in some basic information, and this isn't going to be the Class Dojo account I use with my class, so I'm quite fine with everyone knowing my password. Uh, as you can see, though, this is one issue about using AirPlay. Make sure you don't type in passwords while on AirPlay, otherwise the kids may be able to see it. And if they read it fast enough, they'll figure it out. Charles whoops. And I'll just do and register now. Oh no! Looks like my previous email accounts have been registered. Register now. So once you've signed in, you put your first name, last name, email address, it's going to pull up a bunch of different schools. And as you can see right now, a manual Lutheran school isn't showing up. So you can either try searching um, by uh, school, uh, city, or state. Saint. We'll try by St. Charles. So again, you can see not having a lot of luck here. We'll try again with Emmanuel Lutheran. And there we go. We see that Emanuel Lutheran School on 115 South 6th Street in St. Charles, Missouri pulls right up. Uh, let's just make sure there's no other ones. Nope. So it's going to be the first one that pulls up. It does uh, give you these selections based on your location. So all you have to do is select Emanuel Lutheran School, select Join This School, and there you go. It's right there. Uh, so now just a few basic layouts up here on the upper left hand corner. There's a setting t settings tab that uh, allows you to turn sounds on and off. Um, you can choose your school. You can invite people to join. You can look at different account settings, uh, change your name, say I'm not happy with having my full name on there, and I just put Will. You can go in, change your password, and also log out. You can hit that Add button in the upper right hand corner to pull up an Add Class feature, or you can select it down here to select Add Class again. So let's take a look at their demo class. So you can see this is what the basic uh, look of Class Dojo is. This is their demo class, so you can choose to start class. Uh, there is a messaging feature, so you can sign up all of your kids' parents onto here, and you can invite them to join, and they'll download an app on their iPhone or iPad and then you can send the invitation. And I'll send an invitation. We can take a look at that. You have what are known as bubbles or the people. So you can do this. Uh, so what bubbles are, I should explain that first. So when you start class, you select a person and you can be like, hey, you know what, they're being on task. Great. And now they have a bubble on there, that little one. So you go back, you know, you want to just start everyone over again. So you can see right over here, Halle Berry has a bubble. You can choose to then reset that bubble. So this would be great if you uh, change things every quarter or every semester, uh, just as an easy way to give everyone a fresh start. I do like the take attendance feature on here. So you can just look down, go down the list. You can choose, uh, first you have to record attendance. You can choose who's here. It automatically assumes everyone is here until you mark them as red for absent or yellow for tardy. So we can go here. So I only had three kids show up and Bradley Pitt was um, gone. But say, you know, everyone's all present and I just want to save myself time, all present. Or say something happens for whatever reason, I'm still tracking attendance records for myself. And when there's a snow day, you put all absent. That's all up to you. I do like the fact that you can check reports. So you can look, you know, Halle Berry has 100%. She has only positive feedback. 
But if I go back here into my start class, then you know what? She was unprepared. Oh no. Uh, but, you know, she, she did work hard. But she was talking out of turn. And, you know what? Then she started getting off task. So now she has negative two. We go back here, check reports. You can see that she is doing a 40%. She has 20% off task, 20% talking out of turn, 20% unprepared, 20% working hard, and 20% being on task. I find this as a great way, especially if you're tracking class participation or how kids are doing as a fast way. You're walking around the classroom. And you, know, well, you know what? Matthew Damon, he was just, you know, not working for me and he was off task but you know then I see Cameron Diaz was participating in class very well so this is a fantastic way to track that behavior as well as track attendance as well as a almost a fun feature like now the kids can also download an app and sign into your class and then um, that way they're getting constant feedback how you found them to be doing in class which I think is another beneficial thing because maybe hey they didn't think you know, they were talking out of turn, they want to talk to you, they're getting that live feedback, or maybe they're like, hey, you know what, I really messed up in class, uh, I was distracting, I was unprepared, got to be better next time, so they can view all of that. Uh, I just want to quickly go over the add class feature, pretty easy, um, you just put a name, uh, I'll put this as you selected, and say 7th grade, subject, computers create class so now I come in here and I can see that students I can go in and add all of my students names as it's working zero students edit oh no adding student names doesn't there we go sorry about that so you have to click on where it says student name this is a good learning experience for me as well and you can type in their name. Click the Add button. Now they're added to the class. If I want to go back in and change their name, I can. If I want to choose what character they have, I can. Um, easy things like that. You cannot, however, add personal photos onto theirs. You can put the different behaviors. You can create your own behaviors. Um, great job. Do a great job. Click add. And now it gives me a thumb button, but I can also choose what it was. Maybe my one of my options is that they recycled paper well. So instead of uh, throwing it out, they recycled paper. And great, now they can receive a recycled badge. Um, once you make those changes, I believe you do have to recycled. There we go. And then make sure you press that blue done button on your keyboard and it does change it for you. Uh, again, this is Class Dojo, a great simplistic app. You can also get it on an iPhone. Uh, very easy to use. Um, and now you can see back at that home page, there's no longer that add class feature down at the bottom. You have to tap the plus sign on the upper right hand corner to add any more classes. Check it out. Great app. If you have any questions or need any help, please feel free to contact me. If you run into an issue where it starts force closing, my best recommendation is to uninstall the app by holding it down. I can show you how that looks. To uninstall the app, you hold it down till it bounces and then press the X button and it will delete the app for you. Then go in and reinstall that. Let's see if I ever received that email from Class Dojo. I did, so if you invite a parent, this is what the parent invite looks like. And I select the get codes now. And now they are able to have the student account where kids can look at it. The parents have their own personal account where they can look at it. Um, and also it provides you some uh, slips for parent signatures for each person. So very cool. Um, you can choose either to send the invite or you can choose to print it out and hand them to the kids um, as needed. Anyways, hopefully you have found this screencast beneficial on Class Dojo, and have a fantastic day.